what's up everybody so check this out right today's the big day right uh jerome he will be speaking about the federal funds rate and uh everybody wants to know well how the hell can we take advantage of that right you guys hear that this is all some big deal right and a lot of traders usually end up making a lot of money during times like these well how do you do that right how can you capitalize off of uh this person speaking about federal funds rate all right well let me break it down all right here we go so uh, right now at two o'clock, which is about to happen, uh, they're expecting interest rates to rise 50 basis points. All right. So, um, what does that mean? Right. Uh, it's just, you know, the interest rates that they, you know, charge the banks and the banks end up, you know, charging you, but, uh, it's also a part of, you know, uh, a, a system or a tactic that they use to try to battle inflation. All right. CPI came out. Uh, yesterday and inflation shows that it went down so they don't really have to raise interest rates as high anymore to try to bring inflation down because other factors are, are causing it to come down on its own right but anyways uh how can you determine you know what to do you know on a particular pair or uh in forex to take advantage of it well here we go right first thing you do right click on details right see when the last time uh, the federal funds, uh, the FMOC was here. It is September 21st. So when you click on that, you'll pretty much get your other window that brings you to that time. All right. And when you get to that time, well, guess what? You'll see what the results were the last time, you know, FMO, uh, Jerome Powell spoke and, you know, we had FMOC where the funds rates, uh, w data was released. Okay. In this scenario, right. We went from uh point two point five 2.5%, right all the way up to 3.25 percent so basically we had a 75 point basis uh rate hike on the funds rate okay now here's the actual and here was the forecasted so the actual came out exactly as they forecasted so okay we get that but what the heck is that supposed to mean for us right like I, I still don't know how to take advantage well what you do is you realize okay is this what they you know this is what is expected or you know to come out or what they're expecting to raise it to and this is what they actually did which was no higher or lower than what they expected it was right at the same amount that they expected so because of that right we can't really tell if it was good or bad for the dollar uh from just a you know seeing the numbers uh come out standpoint right because it does it doesn't show as green and it doesn't show as red right it's just black so you don't really know if that's good or bad it seems like it's just neutral okay so but if you click on the details you'll see actual greater than forecasted is good for currency so we didn't get greater than you know uh 75 basis points right and we didn't get lower than a 75 basis points so what really happened well to know that let's hop to the charts here we are on the dollar all right which it was all about and here is september 12th at two o'clock all the way to thursday the very next day all right what ended up happening the first 15 minutes uh at two o'clock the dollar rose up all right the next 45 minutes to an hour the dollar fell all right so we had an initial push up and then after that we had a, a pretty significant push to the downside right where we almost dropped about a, a full dollar on on the dxy and then after that after three o'clock we rose and i'm pretty sure if we you know look at the chart from a higher time frame we probably rose even more throughout the rest of the week but now with you seeing what happened on the chart you can kind of expect the same thing to happen and again we're talking you know if we're talking apples to apples right so if they actually only raise the interest rates by uh, uh 50 basis points then it will be the same scenario as before where you know we didn't have a higher or lower uh you know result than what was expected okay so again uh that's apples to apples right so if that happens then again we can expect an initial push up maybe uh you know uh, a, a fall between you know that that two and three o'clock time frame and then after three o'clock we'll see a drastic move to the upside so you can either wait you know after three o'clock right and then try to make your move and again if the dollar is rising you want to sell pairs that have the dollar on the right hand side that's a part of the majors euro usd all usd pound usd new zealand usd right you also want to buy uh, pairs that have the dollar on, as the base currency, the dollar CAD, dollar CHF, dollar JPY. All right. That's what you want to do. Um, now, if we're talking apples to oranges, right, let's just say they instead of a 50 point basis height, they raise it 75 or even maybe a four percentage. Well, then that will be greater than expected, which again, what do they say? 
uh, greater than forecasted is good for the currency. So that may send the dollar skyrocketing. All right. We may not get some kind of, you know, drop, you know, with, within the hour, we'll just get the dollar taken off to the moon. All right. And again, if the dollar goes up, guys, it's quite simple. This is where you take advantage. You sell the euro USD, you buy the dollar based pairs. You also, if the dollar's up, you also buy, I'm sorry, sell gold, sell the US 30, sell NAS. Okay. Now, vice versa. What if they come out and it's a 0.25% rate hike? Okay. Then we can look to see uh, what happens with the dollar, which most likely it will be bad for the dollar it will cause it to fall and if that's the case then you want to buy the euro usd you want to buy gold you want to buy us 30 you want to buy the nas and you want to sell usd cad usd chf and usd jpy guys you can make a killing just being able to put these little pieces together on a day like today all right so i wanted to drop that on you guys if you want to learn more please click the link in my bio uh, and join my discord we get to it i keep my members informed I keep you guys educated so that you're able to take advantage of opportunities like this that repeatedly come around. All right. So if uh, that's something that you want, you know, please come on by. Uh, also, if you learn anything, please make sure to like hit the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel and obviously, you know, hit the notification bell so that you're alerted with any of the content that I'm going to be pushing out to you guys in the future. I have a lot of good stuff on the way, guys. So come on and, and just hop aboard. All right. It will be a wonderful ride. All right. But in the meantime, in between time, I will see you guys as the uh, infamous Mr. Powell is speaking at the moment and I need to go make some money. All right, guys. Peace.